Welcome back. 623 is your time. We are halfway through Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is a popular time to fundraise for cancer research. The American Cancer Society saw a big decrease in funding within the pandemic. At the end of 2020, the organization reported fundraising dollars were down 200 million, and in Sacramento specifically, a quarter of a million. The society is second to the U.S. government when it comes to supporting cancer research. Funds that we receive through our events through charitable giving make a huge impact in our ability to fund cancer research, not just breast cancer research, but all cancer research. Fundraising has declined due to people's job loss. So when people can't give and they don't have the, you know, the ability to support the charitable giving that they're normally used to, the first thing that's impacted is their charitable donations. And so with that, um, the American Cancer Society uh, had to pivot a lot in 2020. And it did that by creating virtual events. For example, last year's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk encouraged participants to walk on their own, maybe in their neighborhood. Then if they chose to, they could meet outside of the Capitol for a pop-up photo booth. The good news about this year's walk it's back in person. It's this Sunday, October 17th. Check-in is at 8 in the morning on the west steps of the Capitol. The walk starts at 9, and it takes you through downtown Sacramento and ends with a celebration at DOCO. Everyone is recommended to wear a mask. That way, those who are immunocompromised, like the breast cancer survivors, are protected and they feel safe. If you're not quite ready to walk in person, that's okay. You can still support it and walk virtually. We're putting a focus on Breast Cancer Awareness Month throughout October in Health Beat. You can check out abc10.com slash links to see many more topics and also see the walk information and how to sign up.